Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 9, lesson 2, add like fractions. Page number is 567. Guys, like fractions means when you have the same denominators like these two fractions have same denominators so we can call them they are like fractions when these two fractions have same denominators we call them these are like fractions when the denominators are not same we call it unlike fractions and then we make the fractions same uh, the denominators same and then we add them that is a different topic uh, today in this lesson you will only have the like fractions like the denominators same Okay, when you have the denominator same, we just add the numerators and keep the denominator same as it is. Why? Because the denominator shows us the total number of parts and the total number of parts of anything doesn't change. You can change the shaded area, but the total number of parts stays same. So 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5 is equal to 3 over 5. You will not write it 3 over 10. That is wrong. Okay. 3 over 10 plus 4 over 10, it's 7 over 10. Here, this one, 2 over 6 plus 1 over 6 is equal to 3 over 6. Here, 3 over 6. Now you can see that this is not the simplest form. You can simplify it. You can divide by 3 up and down. So you will divide 3 divide 3, 1, and 6 divide 3, 2. So the answer is 1 over 2 is 2 half. Similarly, guys, here on the next page, 3 over 10 plus 5 over 10 is equal to 8 over 10. Again, you can simplify. To simplify, you will divide by 2 up and down. Here, 8 divide to 4 and 10 divide to 5. 4 over 5. Down here, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 over 6. And then you divide by 3, 3 divide 3, 1, and 6 divide 3, 2. 2 plus 2, 4 over 5. Similarly, guys, in, this is the independent practice. Solve all these six questions by yourself and then match your answers with this video. Here you can see, guys, 3 plus 7 is 10, so 10 over 10. It means a whole number. Whenever you have the numerator and the denominator same, that is always equal to one whole. Okay, here they want you to write each fraction, these fractions, each one of them, as a sum of unit fractions. What are unit fractions? Any fraction that have one in its numerator. It is known as unit fraction. So first you will convert all these fractions into sum of unit fractions. 4 over 5, so we write 4 unit fractions, 1, 2, 3, 4, because it is, the numerator is 4. Here it's 3, so 3 unit fractions. Here it's 3, so 3 unit fractions. And then they want you to write an equation to decompose the fraction in a different way. Like you break this fraction into two fractions, when you add them you get 4 over 5, like this. You break 4 over 5 into 1 over 5 plus 2 over 5. When you add it, you will get back 4 over 5. Here, 3 over 4, you can break it into 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4. When you add it, you will get 3 over 4 back. Similarly here, 3 over 8, you can break it in another way like 1 over 8 plus 2 over 8. When you add it, you will get 3 over 8 back. Here on the next page, Marcella add 4 over 10 of a box of crackers last week, then she add 2 over 10. So 4 plus 10, 6 over 10. And then you will simplify it, divide by 2 up, divide by 2 down, 6 divide 2, 3, and 5 divide, 10 divide 2, 5. Grayson's mom used 4 out of 12 eggs to make pancakes. 4 out of 12, first one, and then she used 3 out of 12 to make cupcakes. So 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 over 12. 
Royce has to complete 100 minutes of writing every 10 days. He writes for 10 minutes each day. What fraction of his writing requirement does Royce complete in 6 days? He wants to write 10 minutes every day. 6 over 10. Again, to simplify it, divide by 2 up and down. So 3 over 5 of his writing requirement. Write two fractions whose sum is greater than 1. See guys, when the numerator is greater than the denominator, that fraction is greater than 1 because you will convert it into a mixed number and it will be like this is 9 over 8. It will be 1 whole and 1 over 8. So it is more than 1. Similarly, this one, it will be 1 whole and 1 over 4 right so these two fractions when you add them you get more than 1 9 over 8 it means what that you write such kind of numbers in the numerator when you add them you get greater than the denominator you get improper fraction if the denominators are the same how can you know if the sum of the two fractions will be greater than 1 the sum of the numerators 6 plus 3 equals 9 will be greater than the denominator. You see, 9 is greater than the denominator. Here, 5 is greater than 4, greater than denominator. Write and solve a real world problem that involves the sum of two like fractions. Here, we write it and the real world problem. Okay, you can write by your choice also. So, that was today's lesson, guys. I hope you understand it. If you really understand, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.